Do you think there's concrete groups? Like, is it as simple as the two groups of blue and red? No, it's 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 also very fluid, because you and I are allied as Jewish people, as Russians, as males, as podcasters. Uh, you're an academic. I'm not. There, so there's where's there, we're different, but we each are a Venn diagram, even within ourselves, and. I can talk to you about politics, and then we can talk about Russia stuff, and then you could talk about your your work, which I don't know anything about, so that would be where you're way up here and I'm way down here. So there's lots, every relationship with just between individuals, There's it's very dynamic. So how do we secede? Like how do we form individual states sure. where there's a little bit more cohesion? Sure, the, the and voluntary cohesion. So the first voluntary step cohesion, is yeah. to uh, um, eliminate and the concept of political authority as legitimate and to uh, denigrate and humiliate those who would put themselves in a position in which they are there to tell you how to live your life from any semblance of, of validity. And that's starting to happen. Um, if you look at what they had with the lockdowns, Cuomo and de Blasio, New York, uh, we have, I was uh, tired a couple weeks ago. And I said to my friend, oh, just click, maybe I have COVID. And he goes, it's not possible. Like, what do you mean? And he goes, we haven't had any deaths in like two months. And there's only like 100 cases a day for like two months. And I go, you're, you're exaggerating because everything was still closed. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the numbers and he wasn't exaggerating. And there's no greater American dream to me than an immigrant family comes to the States, forms their own little business. Maybe mom's a good cook, it's a restaurant, dry cleaner, fruit stand. And those people aren't gonna have a lot of money. Those are the first ones who lost their companies because of these lockdowns. Uh, they Cuomo, who's the governor of New York, opened up the gyms. He said, you're clear to open up. De Blasio said, and eh, we don't have enough inspectors. You're gonna have to wait another couple of weeks. Uh, to regard that as anything other than literally criminal is something that I am having a hard and harder time wrapping my head around. You said, I mean, that's something I'm deeply worried about as well, which is like, thousands, it's actually millions of dreams being crushed. That Amer American dream of starting a business, of running a business. What about all the young people who you and I have in our audiences who are socially isolated at best, and now they can't leave their homes? Uh, isolation and ostracism are things that are very well studied in psychology. These have extreme consequences. I read a book called Ostracism, and this wasn't scientific, but basically the author was a psychiatrist, psychologist, whatever. And he had one of his colleagues, they did an experiment, let's for a week, you ostracize me completely. We know it's an, and he goes, even knowing it's the experiment, the fact that he wouldn't make eye contact with me and the fact that he ignored me had an extreme emotional impact on me, knowing full well, this is purely for experimental purposes. Now you multiply that by all these, the suicide, the number of kids who are thinking about suicide was through the roof during all this. Uh, and my point is until these people it's gonna, I, I would predict like 2024, that's where we're gonna have to start having conversations about what personal consequences have to be done for these people, because until then they're gonna do the same thing. So you think there's going to be society-wide consequences of this that we're gonna see like ripple effects because of the social isolation? I, I, I know, I mean, we also need to talk about consequences for Cuomo and de Blasio, because if, if politicians respond to incentives and the incentives are there for them to be extremely conservative, because if you have to choose, as Cuomo said in a press conference, between a thousand people dying and a thousand people losing their business, it's not a hard choice, and he's right. But at a certain point, it's like, all right, you're losing both. You're losing, not losing. The, you're you're making these decisions um, and not having consequences for it, and you're going to do it again the next time. So we need to make sure you're, you're a little scared. Okay. And I don't know what that would mean. But you're laying this problem, this this incompetence. I don't think it's incompetence. The, I think it's very competent. I think they're just, their job is to be to, Yes. But, well, but you're laying it not at the, at the hands of the individuals, but the structure of the of government. It's both, yes. How, how would we deal with it better without centralized control? Well, we didn't really have centralized control because every country and every state you know, handled it in a different mechanism. But a city has centralized control. Just, yeah. Oh, right, I mean. No, that's not true. So Cuomo and de Blasio, they had a lot of disagreements over this, over the months. And this was actually a source of great interest and tension. Um, de Blasio wanted, at one point was talking about like quarantining people in their homes. Cuomo was like, you're crazy. Uh, something, same thing with the schools, same thing with the gyms. Um, and there were other such uh, examples. But the point being, this was an emergency. This is World War One. 
I talked about some Tim Pool show, um, was very dangerous because it gave a lot of evil people some very useful information about what the country would put up with and what they can get away with under wartime. And this set the model for things like the New Deal and, and the other things of that nature. It is undeniable, and you're a scientist, so you understand this perfectly well, um, that this lockdown gave some very nefarious people some very valid data about how much people will put up with uh, under uh, pressures from the state. 